It says, Now there was in the church that was at Antioch certain prophets and teachers. Okay, so these were men of the Lord. These were disciples of the Lord. They were prophets and teachers. They were Israelites. As Barnabas and Simon that was called Niger. Okay, so Barnabas, all right, which he traveled with, uh, he traveled with Paul, was called Niger. Now, when you look up the word Niger, which is a Latin word, okay, of Latin origin, all right, Strong's, well, they have Greek, but Strong's Greek, 3526, Niger means black. And when you look it up in etymology, it goes back to the Latin, Niger, which is where you get the English word nigger. Nigger, nigger, all that just, and which goes back to the word Negro, all right, which just means black. So what is that saying? That's saying that these people, which if you know any biblical history, you didn't have the ten tribes there. You had Judah, Benjamin, and Levi there. So Barnabas, which we're going to prove he was a Levite from the tribe of Levi, all right, he was called Niger. That was a surname. So they say he was black. Okay, and Lucius of Serene and Man of Men, which had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch and Saul. Okay, so Acts chapter 4, verse 36. Alright, about Barnabas. Acts 4 and 36, it says, And Joas, who by the apostles were surnamed Barnabas, which is being interpreted the son of constellation a Levite and of the country of Cyprus having having land sold it and brought the money and laid it at the apostles feet okay so he was a righteous man his real name was Joas okay Joas but the the apostles gave him the name Barnabas which means son of Consol consolation and he was a Levite okay from the same tribe Moses was would be from and he had a surname another surname as Niger meaning black oh, that's good. all right so that's just an example of Levi now let's get Benjamin the tribe of Benjamin all right let's go to um well Paul we got Paul let's go to Acts 13 and 9 okay Acts 13 and 9. It says, Then Saul, who also is called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him. So we know that Saul, the Apostle Saul, I mean, excuse me, the Apostle Paul is also named Saul. Okay. Alright. Get that in Philippians and prove he was from the tribe of Benjamin. Alright. Philippians chapter. 3 verse 4 mm -hmm. Philippians 3 and 4 okay it says though I might also have confidence in the flesh if any other man think that he have whereof he might trust in the flesh I more circumcised the eighth day which is a custom of Israel of the stock of Israel of the tribe of Benjamin and Hebrew of the Hebrews as touching the law a Pharisee Alright, so he was of the stock of Israel of the tribe of Benjamin, which Benjamin is you so-called West Indians, okay? Alright, so now let's get this account in, in the history that he was mistaken for an Egyptian because he was a very dark-skinned man too. Acts 21, verse 37, alright? It says, And Paul was to be led into the council he said unto the chief captain, May I speak unto thee? Who said, Canest thou speak Greek? Alright, because Paul was a learned man. He could speak Hebrew, Greek, and Latin, and write in it as well. Okay. He said, Art not thou the that Egyptian? Oh my goodness, yo. Yo, oh, man, like you, like that, I don't know this nigga, but this nigga came on my page trying to convince me to follow Polite, man. 
He's saying, why are you reading that European, why are you reading the white man's book? Why are you reading that European book? You simple nigga reading the Bible. Polite's got the truth. Right, really. Then why did it just say right here? I'm going to read it again. This is a, I'm going to read it fully. Okay, Acts 21:37. And as Paul was to be led into the castle, he said unto the chief captain, May I speak unto thee? Who said, Canest thou speak Greek? Art not thou that Egyptian? Wow. Which before these days made us an uproar and led us out into the wilderness 4,000 men that were murderers? But Paul said, I am a man which am a Jew of Tarshish, a city of Caesarea, a, city, a citizen of no mean city. And I beseech thee, suffer me to speak unto the people. Oh my God, yo. Oh man. Yo, yo, man. Just, just fade to black, man. Just go into obscurity and die, man. Real talk, man. And then you niggas, man. I, I, I still waiting for you to, to prove that the Bible was plagiarized. I gave you, I gave you an example how the Bible is true, with Cyprus, uh, the second, the great, who allowed the Jews to go back and build Jerusalem in the second temple, man. You, you niggas is on no level, man. This is, this is cakewalk, man. You niggas is nobodies, man. Okay, no level. Okay, all right. And you know who who put them images up? All right. Okay. To have you have or gave you that mindset to think that the Bible is a white man's book, the so-called white man. And you know what? That's in the Bible. I'm gonna end it on that. Okay. So you niggas have nothing to say, man. Yeah. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Meaning, who has power to earth right now? The wicked. Who's the wicked? The wicked is the so-called white man by elimination. All right? He's the only one on top that's ruling as the shot caller. Now you niggas as a shot caller. I don't care what polite no light tell you talking about. You can uh, have your own land and be a sovereign while still in captivity. You niggas is stupid even to believe some madness like that, man. Niggas is clowns, man. Alright, since the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, he covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Now, who are the judges? The judges are the Israelites, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay. Alright. First Chronicles, I mean, excuse me, First Corinthians, lock, First Corinthians 6 and 1. Dare any of you have a matter against another? Go to the law before the unjust and not before the saints. Who the saints? Okay. Alright. Psalms 148 and 14. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints. Even the children of Israel, people near unto him, praise ye the Lord. The word saint means holy one. Okay. Who's the holy ones? It's starting with the elect of Israel. Just because you are Israelite don't mean you are Israel the most high man or or a, a holy one. Okay? Not on this side, man. Alright, first Corinthians six and one. Dare any of you have a matter against another and go to the law before the unjust, which would be Esau the so called white man, and not before the saints, the Israelites, the elect. Alright? Do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? That's right. So the earth is judged by us, man, the Israelites. Alright? But the wicked have covered up our faces. He put his face there, man. Okay? He put his face there. Get that. Second Thessalonians, man. And I'm going to cut it short. I don't want to make this too long. It's already long, but I don't want to make it longer than what it is because niggas got short attention spans. Alright? 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 4. It's, well, I'll start at 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. Alright? 
That's a warning, man. That goes for all of us, man. And Polite's a deceiver, man. Alright? For that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. The falling away was Israel going into uh, sinning, and the curse is coming upon them. Okay? All Israel has sinned. Therefore, we experience the curses. Okay? Uh, uh, Hos Hos Hosea 5 and 5 says, And the pride of Israel do testify to his face. Alright? Therefore shall Israel and Ephraim fall in their iniquity, and Judah also shall fall with them. Alright? So we fell. Alright? And the curses came upon us. Alright? And so at first we had to all experience the curses. Alright? Which that's what we're experiencing now. And that man of sin be revealed the son of position perdition. The son the man of sin is so called white man. Okay? And he's the son of destruction. He gonna be destroyed, man. And that's what he brings, sin and destruction, man. Verse four it says, Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship. Okay? And that's what he do. That's what he did when he put up all those uh pasty images of himself portraying uh, the, the people of the Bible, which the Bible tells you straight up, the people of the Bible, all right, the Jews, all right, uh, Jude, Benjamin, Levi, um, the Israelites are people of, of color, man, all right, Jesus Christ is a so-called black man, King Solomon is a black man, all right, the Heavenly Father is one too, all right, okay, above all that is called God or that is worship. So that he as God sitting in the temple of God show himself that he is God. And that's what he want. Okay, that's what he want. Let me get this. Alright, first Maccabees. Okay, chapter 3, verse 46. This is in the history. They did this during the time of the Greeks, under the reign of Antiochus Epiphanes. Which is a man in history, which is uh uh which actually live okay so this ain't nothing made up and he was persecuting the Jews okay Judah Benjamin Levi okay alright during the time of the Greeks alright first Maccabees chapter 3 verse 46 it says wherefore the Israelites assembled themselves together and came to Masaf over against Jerusalem for in Masaf uh, was the place where they prayed aforetime in Israel. Then they fast that day and put on sackcloth and cast ashes upon their heads and rent their clothes and laid open the book of the law, the Bible, wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. Going back to Job 9.24, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where... And who who is it? All right. So yeah, who's the devil? So-called white man's the devil. Who else is a devil? Polite, no light, and the rest of you wicked ass niggas in, in that black consciousness, man. Okay. Like I told you, man, I'm gonna stay on you through the spirit. Your how about Chanel shine and everything you come out and everything you say is gonna be analytically dissected, broken down, and destroyed, and ground to fucking powder, and you're going to eat that shit. You're going to eat every single word you say, man, all right, till you go black, man. Now, I mean black meaning put to death, all right, and that's just a warning, man. Any of you niggas that's listening to these clowns, you need to separate from them, man. The Lord going to bring judgment on Polite, No Light, Sarnetta, all right, Sarnigga, and Sarcophagus, Sankofa, Bend over like the brother uh, Yakadon said, man. All right, cause you faggoty ass niggas and that damn Egyptology stuff, man. You niggas is gonna get swept, man, with death and destruction. All right, so with that, hopefully you learned something. All right, and to any white people watching, man, like Megan Kelly, fuck you, man. The Lord is a so-called black man, and the, the real Israelites are you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, uh. Latinos and Native Americans. All right. So with that all praises to you. How about Shai? Double honors to those great millstone talking this truth.
Shalom to the Akimah that pushing the truth. Alright, Shalom.